guys, it's Eric from Monday Family Man. How are you guys doing today? Yes, I am in my bathroom, but I'm in the bathroom for a good reason. I am here to get this laundry basket to do a sound test on Bluetooth trackers. I've previously done a sound test for all the Bluetooth trackers I have, but this is going to be an updated test with a laundry basket. So let's go ahead and do it. <music> All right guys, here's the scenario. You just got home from work. It's been a rough day at work. You take off your clothes, you put in your pajamas or whatever. You put all your laundry into the laundry basket. You jump into bed and the next morning you wake up, you have breakfast, and you're about to head out of the house, but then you can't find your keys. That's right. You lost your keys and you have no idea. So you get your phone out and you turn on you know, one of your Bluetooth trackers to find your keys. But you can't hear it because it's beneath all the clothes from the day before. So we're going to take a look at which Bluetooth tracker passes the laundry test and which one doesn't. All right, we're going to have the laundry basket here on my studio side of my office and the opposite side on my desk. I'm going to have the sound meter measuring the sound level from the other side of the room. Some of these trackers do have sound holes on the top and some of them have them on the bottom like this tile generation 2. Just to be fair across the board to the ones that don't have sound holes, if they do I will be putting it towards the bottom of the pile of laundry. Understand in real life sometimes they might be up, sometimes they might be down. Just to let you guys know, the sound that you're going to be hearing in the video depends on which camera you're going to be watching. If you're seeing this view right up here, it's going to be this mic right up here, which is very close to the laundry basket. If you guys are watching this view, it's going to be the unedited sound that this camera is picking up across the room. I'm going to be doing them in alphabetical order. First up is Chipolo 2.5. And just to be fair to everyone, it's going to be in the same pocket right here in my jeans, about three or four pieces down in the laundry basket. This is going to go on top. Let's go do it. So I didn't see the sound meter move at all, but I was able to hear it from the other side of the room. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the Chipolo Classic. All right, that was definitely a little bit louder than the Chipolo 2.5. Let's go ahead and move on to the Chipolo Plus. Definitely a little bit louder. You were able to even see it on the sound meter just a little bit. Let's go ahead and move on to the Find X. Is this thing even ringing? So this thing's so low I can't even hear it ringing. Let's make sure it even works. Yep. Definitely cannot hear this in the laundry test. Let's go ahead and move on to the Lapa. My Lapa has a dead battery, so I'm going to have to come back to this one in a couple of days once I get a new battery. All right, my Mint is also dead. So All right, it's a couple of days later. I have the batteries now. Let's go ahead and test the Lapa. I can hear it just very slightly. Let's go ahead and try the mint. All 
All right, guys, here the mint just slightly. Let's go ahead and take you back to the normal schedule programming. This one, which is the nut three. Definitely saw some movement on the sound meter. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the orbit. Definitely current here, the orbit at all. Let's go ahead and move on to Pebble B Finder. For whatever reason, the scene was lost, but the Pebble B did do fairly well. I was able to hear it. Let's go ahead and move on to the Pebble B Honey. Alright, so I could not get the Pebble B Honey to work whatsoever. Put a new battery in there, and I just could not get it connected to my new iPhone. Could just be like maybe old Bluetooth technology, I can't talk to new technology, or there could be something totally wrong with the app. I don't know. Um, I don't use this one anymore, it's really old. It never was one of my favorite ones. Um, I do like their Pebble Bee Finder a lot better, so I do use Pebble Bee Finder. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which is the Tile Slim. Definitely heard that nicely. There are six different rings that you can work with the Tile Slim and the Tile Mate. I just used the Classic Call, which is usually the loudest. Let's go ahead and move on to the Tile Generation 2. Definitely was able to hear that. Let's go ahead and move on to the Tile Mate. Definitely was able to hear that. Let's go ahead and move on to the key port with the tracker built in. I definitely was not able to hear that. Let's go ahead and move on to the tracker Bravo. Definitely was able to hit up a lot better than Tracker Bravo. Let's go ahead and move on to the Voyager Blue. Definitely was able to hear that. Let's go ahead and move on to the West Sticky. Definitely did not hear the West Sticky whatsoever. Let's go ahead and move on to our last tracker, the XY3. Definitely could not hear that one. That completes my task. Let's go ahead and sum this all up. So all in all, most of these Bluetooth trackers you're not going to be able to hear if it happens to be in your laundry basket, even if you're standing in the same room. However, there are still some Bluetooth trackers that do stand out in this test that's very similar to my last sound test. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check out that video right up there. You have the Voyager Blue, which is one of the loudest Bluetooth trackers on the market. You got the Tile Generation 2. You have the Tracker Pixel, which is a lot, lot louder than the Tracker Bravo. There's a huge issue with the Tracker Bravo. And then you have the Pebble B Finder, and you also have the Chipolo Plus. Um, so those five or six trackers you are able to hear, um, none of them were, I would say, 
you can hear very loudly. So I hope you like this video. If you're not a subscriber yet, if you're one of my patrons and seeing this video earlier, thank you very much. I appreciate all the love and support. If you're not a subscriber, definitely check out to, um, how you subscribe on this blue circle right here. If you want to become a super subscriber, check out this blue square right there. Check out these other two videos. I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.